I am Gregory, and this is Pensane. On the table, we have my Black Friday purchases. Two items, as you see. Uh, and I figured I'd better make this video while it's still timely. <laughs> um, yeah, so we're at the beginning of December 2022. So I picked these up on uh, Black Friday. So uh, under two weeks ago, um, I was super thrilled about one of these. And the other was just like a nice find. Um, I'll show that briefly because that's going to get its own video. Um, because it deserves it, actually, as far as I can tell. <laughs> but here we have a sneak peek of one of the pens I purchased. Uh, the brand is online. Yes, very interesting. So keep a watch out for that. I probably won't do this one anytime soon. But, well, you know, you never know. You never know. But this, I'm very very excited about and this is the pen i mentioned in the previous video that uh i i had this pen in mind for the ink i was swatching so all right so this is a very generic unassuming box much like this one <laughs> uh both these came from the yaffa brands outlet so um, that's where I did my Black Friday shopping, particularly when I saw this pen. And it's not a common pen. I, I, I can pretty easily assume that it's discontinued. I can only wonder why it's discontinued. But uh, without further ado, let's, let's get into it. And let me tell you, this pen lived up to its pictures online. It really did. Very, very pleased with the look of this pen. So, uh, hopefully you know by now that I am a huge, huge fan of Monteverde pens. Uh, definitely one of my favorite brands. I think it's underappreciated. Um, their designs are are refreshing and sometimes modern, sometimes not so modern, a little more classic. Uh, this one, I don't know what to make of this. I assume this is, you know, again, I'm I'm still pretty new to this hobby, so but I assume this would be considered a more modern design. Uh, so this is the Monte Verde, and you can see it here, Napa. So on the Yaffa Brands website, they only had this color to choose from, and only in a medium nib. Um, but that's okay with me, because I do medium and broad those are my nibs of choice. Yes, but I mean, look at this pen. Look at this pen. There's just so much going on. Okay, first, let's talk about the color. The color is stunning. Hopefully you can pick this up because... So you have shades of blue, maybe hints of black even. Uh, hints of gray or even like a, almost, almost a white. And some of those highlights there. Then you have this kind of rusty brownish orange or orangish brown. And the way they're mixed together, like look at the cap here. It it looks like a painting. It really, really does. Hopefully the camera's picking this up because this is just stunning. I love it. I absolutely love it. Look at that. That's oh, gorgeous, gorgeous. Anyway, <laughs> I could look at this pen all day. It's definitely one of my favorite Monteverdes. I, I think it's a gorgeous, gorgeous pen. 
It also has this very vibrant medium blue, just very vibrant. Anyway, my goodness. Uh, what next? What next? Okay, so the clip. You have the wheel, which for a Monteverde pen, I think is pretty unusual. I don't remember seeing this on, on any other Monteverde pen. So that's that's pretty interesting. And this cat band. Oh my goodness. That was really, truly a perfect choice. I, I love that. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. Then we have to talk about this beautifully large ink window, which when you look at the pen and you see this in particular, you think, oh, Monte Verde made a piston filler? Well, no. <laughs> and also, I'm just noticing on the, the clip there, you have the little Monte Verde logo. Hopefully you can pick that up. It's, it's subtle. Um, I do have to say my one complaint is I, I would have preferred if this wasn't filled in. Um, it ruins the look a little bit for me. I mean, it's small, but I don't know. Yeah, I think there was probably a better way to do that. But yeah, this is not a piston filler. So this is the medium nib. That's the only size it comes in. And let's take a look at that. Um, yeah, it's, it's kind of the standard Manavirdi nib. And you have the the size designation there on the side. It's a really good size pen. It's without the cap, it's it's pretty darn light. Um, you can post it, and it's it's reasonably well balanced actually. Look at that. Um, it makes it a little, just a little bit back heavy. Not too bad. And then we have to talk about the, the section there, which is actually pretty small. Um, so, I mean, I like to hold the pen down low, but I'm like as low as I can go. And I, I feel the threads. Um, they're, they're not sharp though. Um, yeah, so it's, it's not too bad. And then it did come with, a, I believe, is that a screw-in? Huh, oh, that's a screw-in, okay. I had a converter in mind for this, but since this is screw-in, I don't think that's gonna work. But I can't complain about a pen coming with a, <laughs> coming with a uh, converter. So, anyway, what a gorgeous pen, right? My goodness. Now the the, the ink I've selected, mm, it's not a perfect match. But I I think like that color right there <laughs> might be. If you can pick that up, that that uh, that might be suggestive of the ink I've selected. So let's take a look at that ink. And if you saw the last video, you know what ink it is. Yes, so it is Octopus Fluids Orange. <laughs> I love this little bottle, it's super cute. And this came all the way from Germany. You can't easily get these inks in the US. All right. So I, I think this is going to be pretty good. And, oh, um, I, I do want to talk about price because, you know, Black Friday. So, all right. So this pen originally retailed for $125. It was on the Yaffa Brands outlet for $79.99, which was 36% off. 
uh, Black Friday was an additional 30% off, which made it 55% off from the original 125. And that's if my, if my math is correct. <laughs> yes. So 55% off for Black Friday. This ended up, instead of $125, it was $56. And just based on the look of this pen, oh, I had to have it, of course. <laughs> and here you see the ink color I have selected. And we'll get a, an even better look at it here. So again, octopus fluids, orange. Uh, you know, I, I think it'll it'll pick up some of the some of the highlights of orange in there. I think it goes right. <laughs> so let's ink it up. So I was all excited because the ink actually came with a free converter, which, as you can see, it says octopus fluids on it. I was all excited to use that, but again, this this pen uses a screw in converter. So I won't be able to use it. Let's get a tissue in case I need to cry over spilt ink. <laughs> All right, that's pretty darn full actually. All right, and that's what it looks like inked up I love the look of that. And again, this would change based on whatever ink you put in there. So that's pretty cool. Even though it's a disappointment, it's not a piston filler. Um, that's pretty cool. I love the look of that. Okay, so this is, oh, there we go. Now I have to say, it, it's writing very dry, very dry. So I think I'm actually gonna prime the feet a little bit. Oh, <laughs> I may have primed it a little too much. Let's try that again. All right, now I, I do have to say, this combination of ink and pen seems fairly dry. Let's, let's test it out here. Yeah, I, I suspect that that ink is on the dry side. I don't remember from, well, There you see, it's, yeah, it's a very dry ink, actually. Okay, so I shouldn't be shocked. <laughs> I should not be shocked. Yeah, so I, I, I guess I shouldn't really be surprised that it writes very dry. Now, on the plus side, you get some excellent, excellent shading. Um, and let's write the ink here as well. So this is very cool, very cool. Yeah, you get some crazy shading from almost a red to 
a very, very pale orange. Very pale. Yeah. I like that combo, though. Yeah, it, 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 it makes sense. This pairing makes sense, I think. Definitely see some of those, the orange highlights in there. Very cool. As far as the pen itself, there's a little bit of feedback, but um, definitely not to an unacceptable level. And if it was a, a wetter ink, you probably wouldn't feel that as much. Um, but I'm, I'm very, very pleased. Very pleased. Yes. So there you go. We have the Monteverde Napa in blue. And I would, I would snatch these up on Yaffa brands, um, before they're gone, because I assume that's going to be that. <laughs> All right. And currently they are at the $79.99 price. I did, I did check on the website. So, but again, I think it's worth it just for the look of it. My goodness, a stunner. Anyway, there you go. The Monte Verde Napa. And conveniently, we can see the name right there. <laughs> um, and again, this was Octopus Fluids Orange. Nice. <laughs> All right. Well, thank you so much for watching. And I will see you next time.